Poson full moon poya day holds special significance as it marks the arrival of Buddhism to Sri Lanka following the third Buddhist council. The third Buddhist council was held under the patronage of Emperor Dharma Soka in India and the leadership of Arahant Moggali Buddha Tissathero to purify the Buddhist canon and ensure that the original teachings of the Supreme Buddha were preserved. The council decided to disseminate the Buddha's teachings to neighboring countries and nine missionaries were sent to various regions. Accordingly, Arahant Mahinda or Arahant Mihindu, the son of Emperor Dharma Soka, along with four other Arahants namely Ittya, Uttya, Sambala, Bhattasala as well as Sumana Samanera and a lay disciple named Banduka Upasaka visited Sri Lanka on Poson Full Moon Poya Day. This event unfolded shaping the religious and cultural landscape of the island and marking a pivotal moment in history with the arrival of Buddhism in the 3rd century BC. Arahant Mahinda met King Devanam Piyatissa, the ruler of Sri Lanka, while the king was on a hunting expedition in Mihintale. The king was surprised to hear his first name, Tissa, being called while he was chasing a deer and arrived at the foot of the Misaka rock. Thereafter, Arahant Mahinda explained his mission to the king and assessed his knowledge and intelligence. Having realized that the king had the capacity to comprehend Buddhism, Arahant Mahinda delivered the Chulla Hatti Padopama Sutta and explained that it is about the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha living as a disciplined monk and the path to Nibbana which is the ultimate goal of a Buddhist. The king and 40,000 people with him embraced Buddhism, moving away from their earlier worship of trees and rocks. On that day, the lay disciple Banduka Upasaka was ordained as the first ordination in the island by Arahant Mahinda. Queen Anula, King Devanampiyatissa's sister-in-law, along with 500 of her attendant ladies, gained mental attainments to become Sota Panna after listening to the discourses by Arahant Mahinda and were very keen to enter the order of Bhikkhunis. Arahant Mahinda's visit also paved the way for his sister Arahant Sangamitta to come to Sri Lanka with a sapling of the Sri Mahabodhi and established the Mahini Sasana or the Bhikkhuni Sasana in Sri Lanka. Later on, the relics of the Supreme Buddha were obtained from Emperor Dharma Soka and enshrined at the Tuparama Dagaba in the sacred city of Anuradhapura, which is believed to be the first historic stupa built in Sri Lanka. The arrival of Arahant Mahinda created a new era in the country. Often referred to as the cradle of Buddhism in Sri Lanka, Mihintale plays a pivotal role in the island's cultural evolution. The beginning of a new civilization with its own identity emerged including the architecture, religious rituals, literature and royal patronage along with the vast development of agriculture, irrigation works, social welfare and arts and crafts in Sri Lanka. While there are many events to engage in with meritorial deeds to celebrate Poson Full Moon Poya Day, the ancient capital of Anuradhapura in Sri Lanka specially draws large crowds of pilgrims who converge to partake in mass religious observances, illuminations and pageants. Another feature of the Poson celebration is colourful processions that commemorate the visit of Arahant Mahinda known as Mihindu Parahara.
These are the main facts the Buddhists celebrate Poson Full Moon Poyate with great reverence, festivals and processions throughout the world.